Hi, my name is Tim, and I've been asked to make a video for the Paperboy series. Uh, this subject is about now uh, what would I do with a million dollars. This is something that's hard for me to talk about. I don't, I don't really think of these kind of things. As a practicing Buddhist, I don't really place much emphasis on material things or on money, and I'm, I've learned to be very content with. Um, uh, a forty thousand dollar a year wage, and a, a simple little house uh, and a simple little life. Um, so what would I do with a million dollars? I've never really thought about it, um, but I guess if I would have to think about it, um, I would. I think I would just still try to live pretty simply. I don't think I would change my lifestyle very drastically. Um, but that's easy to say now. I mean, I know that money can really change people, and I don't really know what what you would do with it until you have it. Um, but I would hope that I would still try to live pretty simply um, and just basically maybe just pay off my house and help maybe help my parents pay off their house. Um, and I think I would still work. I'm a paramedic, and so I think I would still work. Um, I just wouldn't work overtime. I would have a little bit more time to to uh, enjoy the activities I enjoy doing, and uh, like bike riding and uh, things like that. But I think I would still live pretty simply. Um, another thing that I guess came to mind was um, relocating and buying a house, uh, a bigger house in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I would always like the idea of living in Ann Arbor, um, Michigan, because it's so uh, LGBT friendly. And um, however, the real estate in Ann Arbor is something that's way beyond my means. Um, I think the house I have now is uh, was seventy five thousand. Um, and I think for a similar house in Ann Arbor, it would be probably about 300000 So, however, I live in a small town, very conservative, um, and uh, very, you know, but uh, not very, you know, transgender aware or gay aware, um, and not many resources for transgender people who who would need, to, need help. Um, however, so what I would do, I think I would relocate to Ann Arbor, Michigan, Maybe buy a house similar to mine, maybe with uh, maybe a little bit bigger, uh, more bedrooms, um, uh, maybe a, maybe a four or five bedroom house, and I would buy that. And what I would do, I'm single, I don't have a family, so what I would do is I think I'd like to open up my house um, to take in young transgender uh, uh, guys or girls um, who have been basically disowned by their families, maybe say they're 18 years old and they're of a legal age and uh, they can leave their parents home because they no longer have support. I want to have them live with me uh, for free and to until they can get on their feet, until they can get through uh, a couple years of college and go into a trade and actually find a job. And I think out in that area, in Ann Arbor, it would be easier for a transgender person to find a job. Um, and uh, until they get on their feet and they can save their money uh, for, for just the basic necessities of life um, and get on their way with uh, seeing the appropriate therapist, doctors, surgeons, if that's the case. Because Ann Arbor has all those resources. Um, they have the University of Michigan Hospital, which has a transgender program. They have uh, a therapist. And they also have just a, a greater awareness out there and a greater uh, the community has a greater sense of open-mindedness when it comes to these kinds of things. So um, so I think it would be easy, you know, even if I could take in some young people, uh, maybe maybe three or four at a time, and and uh, they wouldn't even, even if they didn't have a car, that would be fine because in Ann Arbor you can get anywhere by foot, by bicycle, or by, uh, by bus. So um, that's always been in the back of my mind, something I would like to do. Um, so anyway, so I guess... That's really the only thing I can think of. Like I said, I don't really put a lot of emphasis on thinking, you know, what if I was rich? Because I've learned to be content um, without uh, making a lot of money. Okay? All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye.